Hey friends, hey, welcome to our day. Welcome to our day, it is Vlogmas Day 2. This is gonna be one of the more boring days. I should not intro you that way. I'm gonna make it fun, okay? Anyway, um, the kids have a couple activities this evening, so there's not gonna really be time to go do any fun activities, but I do have time to run errands, so I'm gonna do that. Go pick up all the presents. Shh, don't tell anyone. Wow, okay, so I am driving to these stores to pick up a couple things. I'm in the parking lot now, and we had kind of a weird storm the other day. We got what they call freezing rain and it coated everything in this thick layer of ice. The grass, the trees, everything. And now it's warmer today. So what's happening, I should put my seatbelt back on. I got out to record a little clip for you guys. I'll enter it at the end of this. Um, in the mid 30s, maybe upper 30s. So all of that ice is melting and as you're driving, you can just see it dropping off the trees. It's crazy looking. So check it out. going on dinner even though it's like 3 30. oh i should show you the chairs i showed on instagram if you don't follow me on instagram and facebook you should definitely do that i always have the links in the description bar but they had a really good sale on furniture and i've been holding out for a great deal for the kids desks because i'm a cheapskate guys if me like too. a good deal on chairs is 60 dollars, i want them for almost half and that's basically what i got them for Holding out was worth it, right? Mm -hmm. You think so? The kids think so too, you wanna see? So these are the chairs. They had been using the chairs that we have for the table, the brown ones. I actually ended up getting a couple of those. I thought they were brass. I don't know, it looks like brown, it's like brown Very brass. brass. I, I don't know. Anyway, I ended up getting a couple of the gray ones for the table. Just to reiterate, we got these chairs for six, no, not 60, $35 a piece. That's crazy to me because I've been looking at chairs and they're not cheap. You generally have to spend a lot more than that for something that's just somewhat comfortable and a little bit stylish. <laughs> okay guys, so I am making dinner, but I figured I would show you how I do artichokes in the Instant Pot because it's kind of a game changer for me. I love artichokes, but before this, I pretty much never made them at all. So first thing I'm gonna do, is wash these obviously okay um our artichokes are washed now now don't judge my artichokes by how they look they've been in the fridge for like three days and where we live that's a long time i'm surprised they're not completely bad i don't know if where we live is considered a food desert but it's definitely a produce desert okay so i'm going to chop off the stems And I've freshly cleaned this counter, of course. And then I'm gonna chop off the end here. Once you have the ends chopped off, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna chop off the end of all of the other leaves. We're going to, first things first, you always want to check your Instant Pot, double check before you start that you have your seal ring in, that your actual stainless steel bowl is in there. And for this, you're going to use the little tray. You're going to squeeze a little lemon juice into the water, and then you're going to put your artichokes in the Instant So we have our artichokes in. I always keep minced garlic on hand and it makes stuff like this super easy. So basically you're gonna put 
a generous amount of garlic on there, then I like to take a fork and kind of squish it down into the artichoke. I really feel like you can't put too much garlic. I probably will even put a little more than this. Too much garlic is not a thing, right? Uh, yeah, it is. No, it's not a thing. You guys, vote in the comments. Is too much garlic a thing? Let me know. So from there, you're gonna go ahead and squeeze more lemon juice onto the top. I'm gonna plug in your Instant Pot. And then, you're gonna take your lid, put it on, you wanna make sure that the valve is in the sealed position. After that, you're gonna go into pressure cook. Now, I've got my lid on right, I've double checked pressure cook. These are pretty small artichokes, so I'm gonna do 18 minutes. So it's gonna be set to go from there. If they were a little bigger, then you would wanna do 20 minutes. When I do the, <laughs> when I do the bigger artichokes, I do 20 minutes. And that's it. When it's done, um, I usually, I, I don't rush to take them out. If it sits for five minutes and does if it sits for five minutes and self-releases the pressure for five minutes, then I go ahead and do the, the release and then they're ready to go. And then um, I probably won't have time to show you the next part, but I take butter or for the people in my family who are dairy-free, dairy-free butter substitute. And I melt it on the stove. Same thing, I put more garlic in and more lemon juice and that's what we use for dipping sauce. I know some people like a mayo dipping sauce. Ew. That's a no from me. <laughs> no even, from me. That doesn't even sound good. Oh my goodness, we are back from the boys' choir. Did you guys have a good time at choir? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah? Are you ready for your Christmas concert? Yeah. Are you ready? No? Uh, yes. You're ready? Uh-huh. Yeah. And so disco. Too bad Maggie can't come. Look at how tall they're getting. You guys, I was pretty sure my kids were gonna be below the height of my waist forever. How do they grow so fast? You were so wrong. Look at how tall you are. Okay guys, it's time for me to hide the star. Um, I mentioned yesterday, but I don't know if I included the clip that we're doing, uh, it's called a star from afar, and it's basically where you're kind of simulating the journey of the wise men to baby Jesus. So I hide the star, the kids, find the star and then they bring the wise men from the set over to the star because they're following the star. Anyway, I have to find somewhere to hide it. Hmm. Hmm. Max, where should I hide? What do you think? He thinks he hopes there's crumbs on the floor. That's what he thinks. Okay. This is too obvious. see okay the whole team is here are you ready yes. yeah. yeah go all right go just checking the boots not not my boot Again. Okay. 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 So we'll put it right here and then you can put the wise men by it. All the wise men over here. I have it. There they are. Oh, oh, I see. He has to face that way. There we go. The wise men have arrived until tomorrow. Anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it for today's vlog. You guys want to say bye? We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.